Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slim Hacks and today I'm going to show you on how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 6.0 and as you can see right now my iPhone is a CDMA uh, it has no SIM card, that's how you could tell if it's the CDMA I'm going to have a little bit more description during the video and today I'm going to show you like I said before on how to jailbreak your iPhone and uh, what is jailbreaking? When you jailbreak you're going to get a bunch of features uh, using Cydia I'm not sure if you can see it, but sorry about the focus. But when you have Cydia, you could um, you can install a bunch of tweaks such as like, like something like this. Like your uh, your notification center is like um, like transparent and blurry, and and you could add uh, like other widgets such as like this battery percentage, and like uh, you can install a bunch of other stuff. I'm just I just don't have uh, enough time to show you. But yeah, so uh, let's get to it. Let's go to the computer. Once in the computer, you want to download three things. You want to download your iPhone 4 6.0 IPSW, which is the normal firmware. Bef uh, one thing before downloading your IPSW, uh, you're going to be asking yourself uh, which IPSW um, to download when you go to uh, the link in the description below. Uh, you're going to be in some website um, that looks like this. And when you go down, you're gonna see a bunch of uh, uh, iPhone 6.0 um, firmwares right here, and you're wo you're you're probably wondering which one you're gonna download, which is gonna be uh, 4 GSM, 4 or 4 CDMA. Make sure, first of all, make sure you don't download this one, cause I um I downloaded this one and then Red Snow didn't recognize it, so please don't download this one. It's between GSM and CDMA, and you're probably asking yourself. Uh, which iPhone 4 do I have, the GSM or CDMA? Uh, well, GSM is usually the, the iPhones with the SIM card, which is the AT&T. And CDMA, those are the iPhone 4s w without the SIM card, so such as Verizon or Sprint. And um, here I'm just going to provide two pictures right there on the side, as you can see. Uh, the top one has um, a SIM card, which is a GSM, and the bottom one, uh, dozens and that's the CDMA and that's how you identify if you which one you're gonna download which is the GSM or CDMA you wanna download iFunbox and you wanna download Red Snow when you download Red Snow double click on it or extract it whatever and um and right click Red Snow go to properties go to com the compatibility tab uh, make sure run this program at in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 and just click OK, and once you're done that, just right uh, right click again and just run it as administrator. And right here, you want to click Extras. You want to go to Select IPSW, and then just browse for your iPhone 4 6.0 IPSW. And mine is right here, so I'm just going to click Open. Uh, make sure it's successfully identified; otherwise, it will not work. Click OK, and then you want to go back, and you want to hit Jailbreak and preparing the jailbreak data and all that stuff and once you're right here um, make sure install SSH Cydia not available on iOS 6 yet it's installed don't worry we're, we're gonna install um, Cydia as well so that's later on in the video and you just wanna like I said before just make sure this uh, check is, uh, is checked right here and you wanna click next and make sure your iPhone 4 is connected to your computer and from right here you wanna put your um, iPhone into DFU mode and you put it into DFU mode by holding down the home button and then the power button for 10 seconds once uh, once once your screen flashes and turns off you wanna let go of the power button and you wanna keep holding down the home button for 10 seconds until uh, Windows 7 re recognizes your um, your device and you're gonna know and you're gonna know when it recognizes when you hear like a little uh, a little noise or a little sound effect on your computer and once you don't and once you hear that sound effect or once it recognizes and you see the bars in a uh, red snow moving uh, that's when you can let go the home button and then uh, your your iPhone should be showing like a bunch of um, stuff going on like the downloading downloading something the pineapple and all that stuff and once it's finished it's gonna um, your iPhone is gonna restart and when it restarts, uh, you may um, this may happen to you. Either 
your Apple logo is going to get stuck or, it, or it's not. But in case if it gets stuck or if it doesn't, uh, you want to go back. You want to go to extras. You want to click select IPSW again. Browse for your iPhone's 4 6.0 IPSW. And you just want to click just boot. And when you click just boot, you want to do the same thing again. Put your iPhone into DFU mode by holding down the home button and the power button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button. And keep holding down the home button for 10 seconds until all your computer recognizes your device and once you've done that it's gonna show like a little pineapple and then it's just gonna be just uh... just tethered booting and all just booting and everything and once it's boot uh... you're gonna notice that your iphone 4 is back to uh, the normal stage and uh... if you actually browse through your apps you're not gonna find your app in the city app there so this is what you wanna do next you wanna exit out of red snow and you wanna install um, iPhone box so you download the iPhone iPhone box and you just want to double click I'll set it up and once you set it up you want to you want to run the program and it's going to look something like this and just wait to uh to iPhone box um text your iPhone after that little refreshing um thingy buffering thingy and uh once it's finished uh with the buffering and it de is detecting your iPhone you want to click quick toolbox and you wanna open up SSH terminal and right here uh, you you may get something saying like uh, something about a passcode or something like that just uh, exit out and just click keep clicking SSH terminal or just mess around with it and then that uh, password thing should just go away and you'll be able to uh, go into this window when you go into this window um, you wanna you want to get the code from the link in the description below which is going to be something like this you want to copy it and then you want to either um right here you just want to um, just click right here on the bottom bar cuz uh when i first did it by myself i was like trying to copy and paste it right here and i'm like what the hell and uh so you just um hit con control v copy and paste the um, the code from the description and just uh, hit control V and then press enter and make sure when you press enter your iPhone is on don't put it into DFU mode or anything just just make sure um, your iPhone is on and connected and just at the home screen and you're gonna see as um as um the SSH terminal is working you're gonna see that your iPhone is gonna be flashing and everything and once it's flashing and everything you wanna um, you want to uh, turn off your device and then you just want to go back to red snow open up red snow again and um, you you just want to hit uh, extra so uh, select your IPSW again and then just hit just boot and then the same thing the same process of a little pineapple showing and once it's boot done booting you're gonna see Cydia and when you see Cydia you just wanna you you just wanna click Cydia and um, it should start it should start working. Just let all the packages download and everything. Cause uh, at first I would just um, every single time I open up Cydia, I always um I always hit cancel on the top bec because I thought it was like some like downloading something that you, I don't need it. So I always click cancel. And every single time I went to manage, um like uh, like if I went to manage or I search up for um for anything it wouldn't show up because I didn't let a uh, I didn't let it finish so please make sure that you're, you're letting all the packages download and once you download then you could search up um, whatever you want to install such as Haculus or anything well uh, thank you for watching this video please comment thumbs up and subscribe for uh, more um, iPhone tutorials this is PSP slim hacks bye oh and one more thing I'm sorry guys that I haven't made a video in a long time because I had school and all this stuff well either way thank you for watching this video bye